beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. So if you like any of those things, or perhaps you're like me and you too can appreciate and love all things fancy and fabulous dueling, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. It will alert you every single time there is a fragrance or a video or a post or a community post on this channel. Without further ado, let's hop right in. Today I'm here to share with you four fragrances that I have received from my monthly subscription service of Royalty Scent. These are all fragrances that were recommended by you guys that I wanted to try that I'm like, oh my gosh, let me see what all the hype is about. You guys, I have four fragrances here, not gonna lie. Hey, they're all pretty, pretty good. So if you wanna hear my thoughts and opinion, please continue to watch. Allow me to take 2.5 seconds to tell you about Royalty Scents, just in case you're new to the channel and you've never heard of them before. They are a monthly subscription service. They are a great way to try fragrances before you buy them. Or if you just don't wanna to commit to a full size bottle and you wanna just receive monthly subscription services of your fragrance every single month, deliver it right to your door. You don't have to leave the house. You don't have to get on the train. You don't have to get on the bus. You don't have to get in your car. It will just come to your door every single month. No hassle, no stress, no fuss. The good thing about it is it is non-contract. So you do not have to sign up for a contract. It is month to month. You can cancel at any time. And the good thing is not only do they have niche fragrances, they have designer fragrances, and they also have really hard to find fragrances. They have over 500 fragrances for you to choose from. So I'm definitely going to have all of their information linked in the description box below. So make sure that you check that out, especially if you're a fan of, you know, I wanna try it before I buy it. I really can't get out. I really might want a full bottle, but instead of me just picking it up, maybe I'll order it in my next service of royalty scents. And then when it comes to your door, you find out, oh, I love this. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the full bottle. That's what I do. If I can't get a sample, this is a great way to try before you buy as well. All of your packaging will arrive to your door like this. It comes in a box, but I've already taken it out, but everything will be in here. You're also gonna get an automizer that looks like this here. This automizer has anywhere from 140 to 120 sprays, depending on how you spray. Um, I do spray really heavy, but I've never been without it. So um, I really like this. It just you know, looks like this here, if you can see that there. This is easily to be put in your handbag, your purse, your briefcase, your glove compartment. You can travel with it, you can take it to work, you can take it to church, you can freshen up with it. It's small enough to even go in your pocket. Hello, excuse you. Anyways, you guys, <laughs> back to Royalty Scents. This one is called Byredo Sunday Cologne. If you follow my vlog, I tried one of these in Vegas and it was not my favorite, but this one right here was really good. This is a unisex fragrance. It was released in 2011. It's bergamot, it's cardamom, it's lavender, it's geranium. It's a beautiful fragrance. However, I do think that it's definitely a summer fragrance, but I wanted to try it out just to see what the hype was about. A lot of you recommended it to me, so I did want to try it out. It is a good fragrance. It projects for about two hours. Um, about the third hour, fourth hour, it did sit very, very close to the skin. It's not beast mode. It's not huge in projection, but it's beautiful, especially I think around spring, summer, those type of months, it would really shine. It's very clean. It was very upbeat. Like I said, it had bergamot citrus notes in the beginning. It's a great fragrance. So thank you for recommending this. This right here is really good. I will revisit this again in spring, summer. I move on. Another one that you guys, everybody has recommended this to me. And I don't know why, I think I had one of these in my collection that someone had gave me but it just had about five squirts left and I used it and I didn't replace it and everybody and I'm about to butcher this name everybody has told me girl you love sexy date night fragrances you love a sexy fragrance you have got to try Lancome's La, La Noite Tresor La Noite Tresor if I didn't say that right please forgive me this is good you guys did not come to play with this one this is how this one looks here all of these can come in different colors you guys sometimes they'll be pink sometimes they'll be blue sometimes they'll be my favorite color color go they all pop off just like this here this comes out color of the juice there is like a rose pink kind of look right there and this oh my gosh I wore this a couple of nights ago and I was like oh the girls showed up with this one this is really good I don't know why I 
don't own a bottle of this. So this may be my next full size bottle. If you think I should get this in a full size bottle, hit the like button. If you don't hit the subscribe button, it really doesn't matter. Just hit a button. Anyways, you guys, this has pear, tangerine, bergamot, strawberry. Some of the notes that I would have never thought that I would have even liked in a fragrance like strawberry. Um, Of course it has black rose, it has praline, caramel. You guys, it has a little bit of everything, but this right here, say it with me. This is sexy. This is sexy. It's good, it's long lasting. It got on my body, it held it tight and never let it go. I sprayed it in my room before I left out for the evening. When I came back, that scent trail was still there. It was still purring. Um, This got on my body and it gave me a good six to eight hours. It sat close to the skin, but it purred the entire time. I didn't have to look for it. It didn't disappear. This is good. Pump and atomizer looks like this. Let me spray that for you. Very evenly distributed very finely let's see it's the fruit notes in the beginning for me so you think it's gonna be fruity it's gonna be like oh but then the dry down happens and i tell you all the time the magic happens in the dry down this right here okay yeah i'm wearing this on the next date night i was just testing it out when i wore it but i gotta get dressed and get its full you know the full vibe going with it but this right here is really really good i absolutely love it so i would definitely highly recommend this one here this is lancome La Noite Tresor, I believe. I move on. Another one that I picked up that I'm completely obsessed with, of course, it's a Tom Ford fragrance. You guys, I love Tom Ford. I love his fragrances. He knows how to do fragrances that speak to me. They just hit different. They hit hard, they hit heavy, they hit strong. And this one here is no different. Like I said, it did come in my box here that looks like this. All the boxes will say royalty scents on them as well. It did come in this beautiful sleek packaging. And this one is kind of textured. It looks like, I don't know, it just looks like it's grain and it's all black and you know that's a sleek look to having your handbag pulling this out it does look like this here now let's get into this fragrance this one is called tom ford purple patchouli now i love patchouli so for me it was a win-win this is a 27 release you guys this is a warm spicy it's amber it's woody it's balsamic it's earthy it's patchouli it's a white floral it is sexy it is beautiful and this is a beast this is getting on your body and this is what i mean about tom ford its fragrances this is getting on your body and it's going nowhere it is staying with you all day it is going to ride with you until the wheels fall off and even when they fall off this fragrance has got a spare tire okay you are just going to be rolling in this fragrance i absolutely loved it i got on me it held it tight Siage was amazing, projection was amazing. It was about a good eight to 10 to 12 hours. I did overspray, okay? I did overspray because I didn't know what to expect. So I just wanted to go in heavy. I sprayed my clothes, I sprayed my body, and this was on me to the next day. So if that's not longevity, I don't know what it is. If you've tried Tom Ford Purple Patchouli, leave it in the comment section below. I highly recommend getting a whiff for all of those that are already signed up with Royalty Scents and you want something new to try and you like those kind of vibes, I would highly recommend trying this one. It is good good I move on all of those were amazing and I kind of have like a, a 2.1 I got a 2.5 but I got a 2.1 okay all of those were amazing all of those were extremely good all of those I would say uh, probably I don't know Latrice what is it whatever the Lancome one I would probably consider getting a very small bottle of because it was so sexy and I want to put it in date night but what I'm definitely going out to get a full bottle of right now, like immediately, as soon as I can find it, is this next one I'm gonna tell you about. This is Van Cleef and Apparel's Precious Oud. If you know, you know. Now you guys kept asking me about Van Cleef and Apparel and I'm like, you know, that's normally where I get my jewelry. And I didn't know that they really did fragrance like that if I was just to be honest. I mean, I've seen it out, but I've never really paid it any attention. And I think I may have even seen some at Nordstrom's Rack or or I don't know, but I, I, I've just seen them out, but I never really paid attention to the fragrance. So a lot of you were asking, hey Sheree, have you tried Van Cleef and Apparel's? Have you tried this? Have you tried that? And I'm like, no. So when I went on Royalty Scents, I said, let me just see what it is. I said, I like oud. Let me try this one, you guys. This right here is good. Now, when I did my wear test with this one, you guys, I kid you not, I kept looking down at my arm as if something was about to happen because I was like, how do you smell that good, that rich, that sexy, that classy, that strong, that bold, that confident? It gave me all of those vibes in a matter of about two and a half to three hours that I was wearing it. This got on, it held so close to my body and so tight. I mean, to the night that I went to bed, I was still able to smell it. Of course, I sprayed the sleeve 
sleeve of my blouse as well. And I was like, well, this is like purring like nobody's business. This is an amazing fragrance. I absolutely love this. This is a 2011 release. A few of the keynotes inside of this fragrance is two bros. That's probably why I absolutely love it. Two bros, pink pepper. Okay, another favorite, bergamot, jasmine. It has oud in it, sandalwood, patchouli, of course. And then it has ambergris and vetiver. This is an amazing fragrance. And more than anything, you guys, to be honest with you, I always tell you I love fragrances because of how they make me feel. And immediately when I sprayed this, I was like, I've seen this before. I've been here before. I know this fragrance. What is this? So of course I went to the famous, um, uh, Fragnetica, that's not how you say it, but you guys, that's what I call it. I went to Fragnetica, I call it my friends over there, and I'm like, what is this fragrance? So I had to do some research on it and start finding out, you know, what it gave reminisce of. And as soon as I seen it, I said, that's what it was. It gives me reminisce of Tom Ford's fragrances, uh, Black Orchid, it gave me reminisce of uh, Velvet Oud. Um, it, it, it's in that vibe, it's in that realm of fragrance. It is just so uber, uber good. This is what the bottle looks like here. This one is in a silver container here, if you can see that. Here. It opens up just like so, same way, and it sprays. I'm just gonna spray a little bit on the paper because I don't have enough to waste, okay? Because this is gonna have to last me until I get a full bottle, but this is good. In the beginning, you do get the pink pepper and the tube rolls. It's really there and it stays with the fragrance the whole time. This dries down, but it does not change the composition. The composition, as you sprayed it, it stays the same way throughout the entire fragrance. The dry down, uh, the deeper dry down, it just warms up on the body and engulfs itself into the skin. Just meaning meshing itself with your skin and becoming one and it's just oozing out of your body. It is so super, super good. If you have this, let me know your thoughts on it, how you feel about it. I really, really thoroughly enjoyed it. So this one here, I do want a full bottle of, I don't need a big bottle either. I don't need a big bottle either. I just need a small bottle because it smells so much to me, in my opinion, like the Tom Ford Black Orchid. And I already have about two of those and I have the all gold bottle, so I don't need a full one. But this one here is definitely something I'm gonna highly recommend that you get a whiff of if you have not tried it yet. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much to the team over at Royalty Scents for always sending over such amazing fragrances. All of the information will be linked in the description box below. If you're looking to try before you buy, if you're looking for a monthly subscription service, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Also, you can reach out to me over on Instagram and I will see you beautiful souls in the next one. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, darlings. Thanks for watching. Bye.